Here we go, guys. Custom Hero Survival. We're back at it again. I'm excited to bring you guys another one of these videos. So we're going to start off. Uh, so basically, there's a few strategies that I'm going to be uh, utilizing in this game, which I'll uh, kind of discuss as we're playing. Zoom SF, the, the kind of like a wizard or like, I don't know, you could call him like a uh, scientist of Custom Hero Survival. He's like a, you know, abuser of strategies. You, you know what I mean? He did tell me a little bit about this like broken strategy that I'm going to be utilizing throughout this game. Oh my God, it's super freaking OP. Uh, you can abuse a lot of fun stuff with this character. So Thinker gives you quite a bit of experience um, based on experience or uh, based on level. So as many levels as we get, we get bonus experience. So it skills quite well, right? So the more the higher level I am, the more experience I get, which is pretty cool. So yeah, at the beginning, what we're going to be doing is getting pillage and a few ranks. We're also going to be abusing something new. Uh, which is called Midas Touch, uh, which is a, a kind of like an interesting uh, way of farming early stages of the game. So yeah, uh, first up is we're going to be going for most likely Ancient Teaching. Uh, it's kind of awkward at the beginning. It's slow pace, but it's going to pick up quite fast, guys. Sell so most of you. I get enough lumber for Midas Touch, which is right here. Excellent. So essentially what how this works, uh, pretty straightforward. We have pillage. You guys know how pillage works. We get extra gold every time we kill an enemy, right? But there's, there's a catch, right? There's a catch, guys. We're also going to be utilizing Midas Touch on top of pillage, right? They do work. Um, they do complement themselves, but they lose effectiveness uh, for each point and each uh, kind of apply to them. So essentially, if I have a few, um, the more pillage I have, the less effective this is, but they still are quite effective. Like it, it, it's only 2% less effective for each point of pillage. We're getting PvP shortly, so we do want to make sure that we're also <clears throat> abusing pillage as much as possible. Um, so I feel like first PvP, if I lose uh, PvP, it doesn't really matter. As you see um, how Mido's uh, touch works, it is applies this like uh, kind of gold coin on top of this uh, creep. And every time we kill this creep, it gives us extra gold, which is super freaking good. It's 525 extra gold to be exact. The only problem, as you're noticing, is we're uh, kind of lacking a little bit of mana, which we kind of can do and just buy a little bit of Hood of Defiance. Gives us that mana, apply it on top of it, and it doesn't work. I don't know what happened. You guys saw that? I literally got scammed. Like 300 gold there. I'm not really happy about it. Do I have a broken build for you guys today? Oh my god. I'm going to be like an, an insane caster. Uh, like, I'm going to have so many abilities. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be absolutely nuts. But yeah, you guys will have to see as the game progresses. The meter is actually disabled. Which kind of makes sense because you do not want to pr uh, prolong this and like abuse this too, too many times, right? So it kind of makes sense. So early on, we're not the best at PvP, not gonna lie. Try to hopefully uh, auto-attack someone to death. Because the thing is, we have to uh, get ourselves pillage maxed down before I get rid of uh, Mita's touch. Uh, Mr. Zoom did advise me against it, but I might go against his will. Okay, let's get a little bit more HP. It's not like it's gonna matter too much in my opinion, but let, let's hope for the best. Okay, yeah, obviously. Going for Blizzard, which is gonna be one of my spells, by the way. So I'm gonna be going for Blizzard, Chaos, Magic, Random Spells. Um, Air Force. I'm going to be abusing a uh, kind of agility build, which, wait, we're going for a caster, you're abusing an agility build? What are you talking about exactly, then? Let me explain. So, for every instance of damage um, that I'm doing, right, it could be anything uh, from, like, Blizzard or, you know, any sort of random spell that I'm going to be casting, it basically deals damage based on agility with something called Air Force. Increases all damage dealt to an enemy hero and it summons by a percentage of its agility. So, the more agility I have, the more damage okay, I can pretty much output. So this guy, ooh, that's a problem. How much does time? 15 seconds cooldown. Here, it would have been nice for me to have boots. What? Oh, he left. Okay. Oh my god. I would have lost versus that guy. The only way I would have been able to win versus that guy is literally running around. So I got super freaking lucky there. I'm gonna say, that was a free pass. I'm gonna we're we're gonna take it, boys. Easy. Literally the only way I win it if he was AFK, so I'm really happy about that one. Let's uh level up pillage, max level as much as I can. The sooner I get pillage max out, the better it is. So at the moment the pillage is at 12, so we're getting two uh, 200 extra gold, 65% chance to get to uh, 15 extra gold to 16, which is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, we got some pretty broken heroes, which we're going to have to discuss a little bit later, but uh, what's important is just me getting that freaking Mita Stotch. I'm kind of stupid. I forgot to 
that I need to get spells for me to survive the rounds. I completely forgot about that, not gonna lie. Um, I might have to use a few potions, by the way. Yeah, I might die here. That was close. Um, hmm. I'm using a little bit of gold, but it's it's nothing compared to what I'm going to be getting back from just getting pillaged, right? So I feel like at this point, Mido's touch is pretty much useless. I could probably get rid of it and go for Blizzard. It's, it's, it's greedy for just me just farming like that. So I'm going to get rid of it uh, at Mido's touch and we're going to go for Blizzard. Actual gold back. Obviously, Blizzard will help me clear stuff. Plus, I have uh, Ancient Teaching, which allows me to pretty much get a instant reset, right? Let's make sure that we get maxed out Pillage. Uh, should be pretty good. And maxed out Blizzard to guarantee the fact that I'm going to be... Um, what's it called? Going for extra... Or just... This is going to be uh, guaranteeing me the clear. clear and this is going to guarantee me the, the kind of economy management, right? So, usually what you want to go for Glory, just use it on block. Reason that we're going to be going on block, it blocks a flat amount of damage, which is super freaking important for uh, this build because I'm going to be going for scaling um, agility, right? If I'm going for scaling agility, I want to make sure that I'm actually um, being protected because Zaid died. Because the uh, scaling agility rings actually reduce my block, which is a problem, right? I want to make sure that I'm not <laughs> actually, uh, well, for now it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be go going for rings. Uh, until I have, uh, what's it called? Pillage maxed out. So I don't know why he died. I don't know what happened. How can you die this early? So we're getting PvP shortly. We probably want to get make sure that we're getting um, Blizzard to a certain level that uh, is kind of comfortable for us, right? So we can actually compete in a PvP setting, right? As the game progresses, we're going to have a bigger AoE with, uh, with Blizzard. As you see, it is increasing with every level, area of effect, range, and damage is increasing. So 770 damage at the moment as we speak, which is really good. So I feel like the way we're going to be uh, surviving PvP is most likely with movement speed, a little bit of bonks. To be honest, I'm just going to level up my uh, Blizzard ab ability just to guarantee the fact that I'm going to be dealing an absurd amount of damage, right? So that's going to be my, uh, my victory or kind of win the condition, right? Just hoping for the best, hoping for the best. These guys seem to know what they're doing, right? They have quite a bit of damage, mobility, rapier of the gods. This guy might be a problem in later stages of the game. He has 14 pillage. I'm at 22. So I'm a little bit ahead, which is really good. This is our boy test. He's doing quite a bit of damage back because of his Hellfire passive, right? Which deals um, damage um, based on uh, initial damage 1.2k and then damage per second. A little bit like immolation, so it's this kind of passive, which is super good. And it benefits from his absolute fire, combustion, learnability. That's an interesting build. I like his build. Since he's going like full on fire build, um, which we used to do, guys, by the way, in the channel. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to do kind of like elemental builds. If you guys want to see that in the future, guys, hit the like button. If we reach a, like a decent amount, let's say like 200. I'll make a sick video uh, with kind of like only elemental build. So I'll have all the boys that you, should get, you guys should usually say uh, from the community and pretty much we'll have like some fun elemental builds uh, up in the mix. Um, I feel like that's how it works. The more damage he takes, uh, I guess something like that. Oh shoot, what the hell? How is he regenning that much? No way, he went for, oh, he went for grass of immortality. I guess he wins. Yeah, there's no way I can out heal that. Oh, played. <laughs> I guess there's nothing much I could do. He went for the cheeky regeneration. He's gonna go for a sudden death, and he's definitely gonna be winning. Like I'm not even gonna attempt to win. Like there's, it's literally impossible. He's gonna out heal the damage taken, so I'm just probably gonna drop my onks. Can I sell them? No, I cannot. So that kind of sucks. I'm gonna lose a little bit of glory, but there's, I should have probably paid attention to who I was going to be facing. So the thing is, I don't think there is any way for me to take this guy out unless I counter his build and go for more regeneration. But the thing is, I don't have enough gold to get this item, which is like, I think 21K. Yeah, 21K. There's no way. What's happening? Where? Hello? What you got? 
Yeah, baby. How are we how is he not? I have onks, by the way, so maybe I out survive this? I'm all geared up. Oh wait, I have two more onks. Maybe I survive. Wait, I win? All How? Go. I'm all geared up. No freaking Oh block. I actually didn't know block. Wait, yeah. block actually works against no way. So if I understand correctly, block actually operates or prevents me from taking sudden death damage? Wait! Since when is that a thing? But how does that make any sense? Oh, so it's a flat damage. So it's all damage taken. Wait, that's crazy then. Since this guy had so much regeneration, I was hoping for him to win. But he literally got bamboozled. I wrecked him. Without even knowing that I wrecked him. <laughs> what? What? Okay, let's get wrecked. Easy. Damn, that's impressive. I... I, Dude, I'm speechless. I'm so happy about that. That's good. We got max pillage, which is huge. I think we can max out Blizzard. Uh, get it out the way, but I think we want to go for income as soon as possible, right? But let's let's fi finish up Blizzard to guarantee the fact that we're going to be clearing very fast, right? So if we're going to be able to clear very fast, that's going to be very good for us. We're also going to be going for disability. Ancient Blood, giving us uh, kind of like um, lifesteal back. And we're also going to be get getting lifesteal, magical crits, and uh, that's pretty much the build. That's going to be pretty naughty if you ask me. Look at that. Full clear, as easy as that, guys. As easy as that. Now we're going to be maxing out Blizzard. Get it out the way. It is maxed out. Pog Shep. Look at the amount of freaking lumber I'm, I'm dealing with at the moment. I have so much. Now, I could, what could I pretty much do is sell all of this and go for scaling agility, right? Because I don't need any more gold, right? Gold is pretty much useless at this point because um, I have pillage maxed out, right? It's already giving me so much freaking gold. So 65% chance to get 540 gold from a kill. And now we're going to be doing, guys, income, baby. It's all about that income. If we hover over our kind of like build, we can see that at the moment I'm hovering over around 720 income per round. But I'm honestly going to be getting a lot more. The trick is with this game is um, getting income before the end round ends. So, many income per round from the buying player. Upgrades to hostile creeps. Uh, so, essentially, it's global, right? So, we upgrade the hostile creeps uh, within the kind of round. And we get uh, extra income for it. So, making it more difficult for us and our opponents. But it also grants us kind of like uh, a bonus. Now, we're going to be getting scaling agility. Which seems weird, we're, we're a little bit counterintuitive considering we're like obviously a freaking intelligence character, right? But there's a reason being, right? There's obviously a reason. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit too late. Okay, I'm not too late apparently. Nice. So we got unks, baby. Let's go. As many unks as we can. Let's go. Easy. Let's see who wins. Did he get one shot? I don't think he did. <laughs> From Windwalk, man. <laughs> Such a troll, this guy. So the thing is, I think there's a increase the fire, the hero's magic power by 0.4 for every fire spell he has, but it's not even that much. So what I seem to understand is that the more oh no, duration is 10 seconds. So after casting a fire spell, the hero's magic power increases by four for a few seconds. For 10 seconds to be exact. But the thing is, like. 0.6, like it says, it's only 6 magic power at the moment, which is pretty bad, right? Ah, uh, this, this guy going for magic protection, but I don't know if it's worth it. That absolute. Unless every time he casts it, he gets a lot of, like, you know, bonus or whatever. Ooh, wait, he was taking, I was taking quite a bit of damage. Great fight there, my friend. The block really helped me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the block helped me a lot there. <laughs> I feel like I would have gotten one shot it because I have so low HP. So now we're going to be going for rings. Do we want to max out our build? I think we do, eh? Could also get extra damage when I think about it. Magic power might be pretty good. Um, use glory for either either block or magic power. I'm stupid. I should have literally saved it because I, I want to go for this first. Maybe I'll get it a little bit later. But I got extra magic power, which is pretty cool. So my income at the moment is looking pretty good. 2k. Uh, but we're pretty far from where we want to be. At least, you know, 20k income is our, you know, goal. 20 income per round, which is absolutely insane to say the least. 
So there's a little bit of extra stuff we could do to abuse uh, my passive, which is getting a little bit of extra experience. Which we could do by um, doing buying a next item, which I'll let you guys know. Oh, look at that round. Look at that gold, man. So there's some items that give you even more um, experience. So this one gives you magic protection and it gives you extra bonus experience from killing enemies with magic. Guys, the more experience I have, the more levels, the more level experience I'm also gaining, which is super cool. So I want to make sure that I'm pairing up. My oh, dude, I'm actually so stupid. What did I forget to do, guys? What did I forget to do? Learnability, obviously, guys. Obviously, learnability. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I forgot about learnability. But it's a little bit less effective with pillage. So I'm essentially losing, what, 30%? 30% of 1k is, what, 300? So it's not the worst. 1% uh, less effective with, with each learnability point. So since I have both... Uh, unlocked, I will lose 30% effectiveness on both of these, but it's still fine, so I'm still reaping 70% of the rewards, which is obviously very good and worth it. Uh, so now we're, we still have like an absurd amount of agility, which is really freaking good. The only thing is we have to watch out, because we can take quite a bit of damage if we're not uh, careful, right? So here I feel like uh, getting myself this item is going to be very important, so get that extra experience, right? Where am I here? So, um, at this point, again, PP coming up soon. You know, you guys know what we're going to be doing. Uh, going for uh, some broken stuff, right? Broken stuff, as I like to call it. So, Unk. Unk, really OP. Anti magic shell, which makes total sense. I could probably do that too. Go for regeneration. I don't know. I'm doing some crazy stuff here. Which I'll, I'll talk in a sec. Let me just finish this PP. Do I even win this? Ooh, I don't know if I win this. Uh, I don't know if I win this. I actually win this. Okay, since I survive a little bit longer. I'm going to use this to make sure that I'm not dying. And should be easy. Bye-bye, Fireboy. <laughs> I'm so toxic. I'm so toxic. But yeah, this rhythm matter at this point. Uh, so all items sell for 100% if you haven't noticed yet, so uh, that's why you see me uh, put them constantly selling stuff. So it doesn't really matter if I sell it or I rebuy it because it sells for 100%. So you can kind of like uh, uh, pretty much like buy items depending on what you need. So for example, for PvP, you probably want to build differently than when you're kind of clearing waves, right? So that's the uh, kind of important part. I kind of want to finish up my build too. Uh, I do want to finish up a Holy Enlightenment, which I'll go for right away. Giving me like crazy amount, absurd amount of XP, so you guys will see me my experience skyrocket compared to other opponents, right? Really curious to see how it's gonna go, right? Obviously, we want to make sure that our, we're kind of building our uh, character because at some point it's gonna be dangerous. Look at the amount of XP we're gonna be getting, absurd. Wait, first I need to get this. So agility, so it permanently increases the agility of hero gain per level, right? So we're gonna get this. It's gonna cost us a little bit of experience. And now we're gonna be getting even more scaling agility per level, which is super freaking good. Uh, so now it really depends. We can go for more income, right? Uh, hold this down. Look at that nice income we're gonna be getting. We're at 5k income at the moment. Really freaking naughty. Obviously getting some spells, right? So we wanna make sure that we're not gonna be dying to the wave. So magical crit, very important for our build. Multicast, chaos magic, and uh, random spell. Random spell, and I think we could go for reincarnation. Just in case we die. Just in case we die. So we have it enabled. 5k. I can't afford that. Wait. I, I don't have enough mana. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, so that kind of sucked. All, both these spells are on. Obviously, C hotkey, classic. I'm happy that it's this one because I'll probably cast this more often than Blizzard, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it kind of sucks that I won't be able, even able to freaking reincarnate. So now I think I want to get myself the Urn of Memories, which is going to cost me a little bit. So I can just get that bonus experience. Um, I think just Urn of Memory is pretty much missing for my build, and we're pretty much set. We have Chaos Magic, so every time I'm casting a spell, I have a chance of... Ooh, saw that? I, that could be troublesome for sure, <laughs> if you're not careful. So I think that the last three spells is probably going to be... Uh, what is, what's it called? Um, Air Force, obviously, since I'm freaking getting... Oh, look at that. Super good Volcano. Yeah, so... What am I going to be getting is um, Air Force and two Life Seals, right? So this one plus, I think this one too. You deal bonus damage, you restore hell for every blood spell. Your vampirism returns bonus percentage damage deals as HP. It doesn't say that it doesn't, it only affects like um, melee characters. Also affects, I'm pretty sure, oh shoot.
Oh no. Oh shoot, I panicked by there, not gonna lie. But uh, <laughs> I, I always forget about PvP. Why do I always forget about PvP for some reason? So I want to probably get um, regeneration could be good. Anything else? You know what I could do? What I'm thinking at least, Forest Mark could be huge. Magical crit is massive here. And probably go for a lifesteal, right? Staff of absolute magic. Hopefully this is enough. Let's cast this from the gecko, right? So yeah, it seems that I am not taking damage from his passive because of my uh, anti-magic shell, right? Wait, so this actually resets. I actually didn't know. So this actually resets. So it took the ancient teaching. So it when a hero uses a spell cooldown, it instantly resets. So it also resets items. Okay, that's actually pretty good to know. So at this point, just get as many or two urns should be enough. I mean, I don't want more than this, to be honest. It's completely fine. So the way this only five left, apparently, yeah. Gives me more HP, gives bonus experience equal to twice of hero levels for every creep you kill. When pillages learn, experience's bonus is only 50% effective. Doesn't really matter, even though it's 50%. Like most of these are sadly reduced through effectiveness, but it doesn't matter because all of these stacked up together do add up, which is good. Uh, so make sure that we're upgrading. I have level 117 at the moment, which is huge, right? I have a cray. Oh wow, it took quite a bit of damage there. So that's the thing. So that's the thing at the moment. I'm kind of scared because I could actually die <laughs> pretty easily if I'm not careful, boys. I could die pretty easily if I'm not careful. 10k income upgrade. Let's let's freaking go. I mean, I can afford to get most of these upgrades right now, to be honest. I mean, they're pretty much free for me. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of freaking damage. I go for a little bit of upgrades. Because uh, I want to make sure that I'm not freaking dying, right? After all, multicast could be really good here. Very expensive. That's the kind of downside at the moment. As you increase the level of multicast, the more chances you have at multicasting the actual spells, which is really important. It's really good. I could cast like a crazy amount of spells like this. <laughs> As you saw, it's, it gets a little bit crazy. PvP is coming up soon, so we have quite a bit of gold to deal with. So we could probably go for go for four unks. I think they're probably the best option. Or three unks is enough. There we go for this. Uh, this, which I will talk a little bit about in a sec. I think this is fine. I'm pretty confident of winning. Um, next PvPs, I want to make sure that I'm going for a heavy economy again. Wait, fight again, by the way? Oh, I fight again. 20% of the max HP, which is really good. But it sits up. Does this guy give up, or what does he do? I mean, there's no way he survives this, right? Stampede, freaking all of this. He heals back somehow. I don't know how, though. Excuse me? Oh, he has the entire magic shell, that's why. But he dies now. He doesn't use, abuse the freaking Unk strategy for some reason. Get back to our roots. Which is this. And then scaling it. Agility. Really freaking good. And then pretty much like max out. We can start maxing up stuff. Like Chaos Magic could be very good here. Uh, just so we get random spells to clear waves with uh, for us. Which is going to be kind of important. A lot of freaking random abilities that are happening here. Healing Ward, yeah, Blizzard, <laughs> Tranquility, everything, man. The income upgrades, right? So we're at 16k at the moment. We do want to go for a little bit more income. Make sure that we have uh, more income than everybody. So this guy's at 27k income. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, he's insane. He's actually insane. Yeah, that's it's pretty. It gets pretty crazy. Plague, breath of fire. Yeah, it gets pretty insane. Do you want to get rid of what's it called? Ooh, yeah. Make sure we get our creeps upgraded. I want to see how much income that this guy's going for. It's at 31k for crying out loud. He's getting 30k income per round. 
which blows my mind, by the way. Oh my god, this guy's hitting pretty fast. Look at look at his stats. <laughs> look at his stats. What the hell, the machine gun? Uh, I mean, the, the more he gets hit, by the way, the more stats he gets. So if we all focus him at the same time and he resists somehow, he's gonna get like an absurd amount of stats. So that's the downside of playing with first that character. The first things first, I need to get this out the way, right? The sooner I cast this, the like he's not gonna deal damage to me whatsoever. Then we cast pretty much everything. See if it works. Hopefully now it sure worked, but we'll see. He's gonna deal damage to me, but he has only two onks. Oh wow, he does. How does he do so much damage? What? Oh, last breath. Wait, he's winning? Oh, I can't cast anything. That's so. <laughs> no. No. What the hell, man? Tess is literally building against me. It's it's hilarious. What a fanboy. It's insane. Lost a lot of gold, it seems. I want to get a little bit of magic protection. I think scaling magic protection is going to be pretty good. Uh, I'm probably going to die here. Oh, that was so freaking close. <laughs> I was a little bit too close of her comfort, to be honest. Uh, yeah, game is starting to be a little bit difficult, not going to lie. So let's make sure that we start uh, kind of protecting ourselves accordingly, right? So uh, go for Urn, and I think we go for you and you. You have a decent amount of block. That's another dumb thing. Hmm. So, income is not worth it anymore, by the way. So, you won't be seeing me get that. These creeps are kind of tough. Not gonna lie. How, how is this creep not taking damage? Hello? Interesting. Interesting. That's a thick. That's a thick Murloc. Not gonna lie. Jesus! Please die for crying out loud. Um, now we just want to level up our spells. I think, right? I'm I'm also very slowed here when I have max mobility. Versus, so these units do uh, slow me down. It seems. Uh, so now we're going to be getting scaling, block, and magic protection, which is going to be very good for a later stage of the game. And now we just want to probably max out our spells. So magical crit, very expensive, but obviously it's going to be really freaking good. So now we have the chance to deal, 20% uh, chance to deal 7 times the damage. Obviously with magic it's going to be pretty insane if you ask me. Probably level that up slowly but surely. I'm going to do a lot of freaking damage, but yeah, I'm also very weak, as you see. So I'm going to need some sort of survivability spell. So good thing I have reincarnation to, to stay alive, but yeah. Wait, he's going for more urns? You can, you can, you can double him? I didn't know you could do more than one. Gonna PvP shortly, aren't we? More lumber is required. More lumber is required. So we're approaching the end, end stage of the game, guys. Um, this, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to uh, survive. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, our, look at our levels, right? 200. This is a very experienced thinker, right? He's, he's seen some shit, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I'm, uh, like, I don't know, this could go either way. Fight first, too. Hmm. I'm fighting Mr. Murloc. I don't know if this is the best build, but these are this, these these items. I am doing like quite a bit of damage. Look at this. Look at my magic power, right? It's no you want. It's very good. And I can't take uh, more damage than uh, either. Wait. The maximum damage taken by the hero at once cannot be higher than 20% of its total HP. So I cannot take like a crazy amount of damage, right? If someone crits me or whatever, right? So I, I, this thing like prevents crits basically. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. So the more you fight the Murloc, right? The, the more, the like it's going to be impossible to kill him, right? Look at the stats. Absolutely crazy. Holy Christ. He's basically not taking damage because of this, and he's stunning the, the enemy. <laughs> what the fuck just...
just did I just what did I just witness, man? Still a little bit ago. Still a little bit ago, but I feel like uh, it could pretty much go anyway, right? So I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. So this guy's dying. So it, it seems like a big game of rock paper scissors. So this guy's not dying to. Oh wow! How the hell does he have so much magic power? Is it from the glory? Wait, how the hell does he have so much magic power? Oh, that's it. Is it is it his character or whatever? Oh wait, is it like uh, an ability he has or something? Yeah, the thing is, I'm I'm like weak as a flower. Like I'm literally a flower at the moment. If I if I stay in, stand too long in a corner, I'm probably dead. Look at this guy also rocking freaking. Uh, oh my god, my freaking number is insane. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this game gets a little bit crazy as you've noticed. Max level. Let's get this one maxed out. Is there anything else I need to max out? Reincarnation could be good. I don't know. I don't think I need to max out that thing anyways, right? Magical crit. Ancient teaching could be good, so the cooldown is reduced. It doesn't cost me too much, to be honest, so just get it. Uh, rest are probably going to get rid of most of these, right? Look at the damage I'm taking, boys. Look at the damage I'm taking. Oh my god. Good thing I have reincarnation, but I probably don't want to level this up, right? Because it's probably going to cost me more mana, right? Which I don't want. Okay, going for more income. What is he doing? 47k income for crying out loud. How much income do I have? I have like 24k. That's it. I thought I was good. So I'm saving glory for this and then I don't know what to use glory. I guess I'm just going to go for probably block, right? I'm all geared up. Let's roll out. Pretty naughty. There we go. Clearing as we should. Multicasting, no problem. Tranquility, keeping me myself alive. <laughs> Gets a little bit crazy. Oh wait, I forgot about the absolutes. Oh, let's not forget about the absolutes. Am I stupid? Oh, this is a sick looking necromancy ability, huh? Let's actually, I'm gonna get my, uh, uh, I'm actually gonna get the, uh, probably gonna be getting the absolutes right away, right? I feel like that's gonna be kind of important. It's kind of getting crazy. How am I still alive? Um, cold is probably the best option for now. Let's get cold, and I think you could get multiple absolutes. I'm pretty sure, but they do cost quite a bit. So which one is the one that should get more? Unload your last. No, is there a way? Get it? Oh, you could get an additional. Okay, this one. Here we go. So you have an additional uh, absolute slot, which is good. Got volcano in the mix. Uh, kind of run around and hope for the best. I think that's my best option. I, <laughs> I'm taking so much freaking damage, man. I'm I'm weak like a little flower. Jesus. There comes the next PvP. Let's get casually the two best items in game. No problem. Prevent crit could be good, right? I'm seeing this being decent, just for the. Uh, for the healing, right? I have to make sure. So next round's coming up. I need to prepare, guys. I need to be fast on my feet. I really need to be fast. So I think I'm gonna start building um, from the beginning. I need to be fast. I don't want to waste time. I need my absolutes and all that stuff. So. What is this guy building, anyways? I'm oh wow, he does quite a bit of damage. Uh, he has avatar. As long as I'm, I'm running, I'm fine, right? Why are you running? Why are you Hopefully. running? Okay, I got additional glory from from that fight. That's huge. We, like probably want to get um start getting our build ready, right? So we want this, uh, this, right? Both these items are vital. So getting crazy amount of stats, right? This gives me look. At my, I went from I don't know what to what. I I got 8k agility. Try this one. I don't know if it's the best option. I know the cold one that I have is the best. What you got? It's perfect. So I, the question is, does Frostborn work? I guess it does work. I feel like it does. It's going to be good. So I'm going to get like crazy amount of damage. It doesn't really matter. It's the fact that I'm going to be getting the crit, which I guess stacks with the current magical crit, right? Let's 
Hmm. I do a decent amount of damage, but it, the damage is only going to be good because of my agility when I get the Air Force. So that's the thing. It's not apparent at the moment, right? Which is the problem. So I do have a lot of glory, which I probably want to use before I die. I'm thinking block and magic damage. The magic power. I could go for a little bit of this. I don't want to overdo it, though. And the rest probably just block. Much, I have a lot of magic power. I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up. Because if I mess up at the end of the video, I'm gonna be fuming. Uh, let me just say I'm gonna be fuming, okay, guys? I'm gonna be so tilted, you guys have no idea. This build is literally technically almost perfect at the moment, right? So we have pretty much everything we need, just the last three spells, which is gonna be lifesteal, uh, lifesteal, blood, this. And uh, Air Force, right? Which is the literally the main component of this build, which I haven't gotten yet, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I literally haven't gotten the main component of this. But I should have showcased it throughout the video, I think. Maybe I get it first before... Should I get it right away? We're getting it right away, because I feel like I have to show this to you guys, literally. Got rid of it, and now we're going to be going for the spills. Hopefully I have enough. I should have enough, that's a lot. Here we go. Ancient blood, that's so freaking expensive, man. And lifesteal. I would assume it does work. Plus I have a blood... Um, what's it called? Blood absolute which really works really well. So look at my damage, right? Now my damage has increased significantly, right? So every point, so essentially increases all damage dealt by a hero and it summons by 100 150% of its agility. Since I have a crazy amount of agility, you guys can see already this working, right? So, is this final level? I think it might be. Look at this guy's stats for the fun of it. He's, he's getting so much HP and everything from it. Yeah, it's gonna get a little bit crazy. Um, hmm. Battle Royale. Here we go, boys. Moment of truth. I'm gonna get two of these. Gives me less magic power, but also gives protection and prevents from critical hits, which is super important. The only thing I'm missing is pretty much... The panda thing, which I feel like it's going to be pretty important. I don't know if I want two of these, to be honest. I don't think they stack. It's probably the final build. Uh, so go strength. Uh, go in agility, sorry. There we go. Final build, boys. Let's see how this goes. I feel like this is the moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, I really want to take a little bit of time to just analyze these builds, but I don't have time, man. Hopefully this is enough. I have to keep casting spells, man. Hmm. Let's see if I can actually damage these guys. Am I damaging this guy? I don't think I am. Is he not taking damage? What is this? Definitely K? Wait, it's not working, boys. Okay. Excuse me? How the hell did I die, though? I'm so confused. Death and Decay is supposed to one-shot him, no? I killed Tess on the bright side. How am I not killing him? How am I not- Guys, how am I not killing him? Can someone tell me? I'm dead. Wait! But I But- Guys, how, how am I not damaging you? What is this bullshit? Oh, okay. Each regeneration is at 100k. Oh. And he's at 745k HP. GG, well played. Listen, boys. I mean, I still think this was good. I still think this was, this was good. If you guys want to see more of this and see uh, more 808 editing, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of fun build showcase. In my opinion, it was decent. Maybe we have to refine it a little bit. Let me know down in the comments what do you think I should have like done to improve this build. But I feel like overall it was going in the right direction. I guess it's just it's, this is literally just a little bit too overpowered. A literally 100k HP regeneration per second, which is kind of crazy to think about when he has literally 750. So I guess this is probably the way to go, guys. If you want to win your games, you know what to do. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.